Welcome back, everybody, to War on the Sea as we continue through the American Guadalcanal campaign for the first time. I think it's time to go ahead and take Guadalcanal now that we want a major naval victory outside of it. Uh, don't, it doesn't appear that they have any soldiers or supplies on Guadalcanal. They're just trying to build an airfield. Uh, so we're going to send some air power, uh, not really much power. It's four uh, fighters from Rental Island just to give us a little bit of air cover there while we go ahead and send our ships from New Hebrides and hope they don't run into any subs in the process. Enemy aircraft spotted near Task Force 3, so we're going to go ahead and uh, send these guys back up here because I want to deal with that as quick as I can. Now it looks like we got to actually fight them now. Okay. Fight them we do. And we're not really in a good position for taking on airplanes, so let's see if we can... Let's get into a, uh, I don't know, a two-column formation as quick as we can. I don't know exactly what kind of planes we're facing. I should have just sent the fighters up there and left them there instead of having them. I didn't know, didn't expect them to come right back. All right, they're bombers. Yeah, boy, this is going to be interesting because they're coming up right behind my planes, or my ships. So let's pause for a second, and let's, we're just going to break formation on everybody now, I think. Have them all, I'm going to turn hard to the left with everybody. As best I can. Mainly concerned about the battleship. Battleship. That is not one I want to lose, especially with some bombers. Okay, let's see if that helps. Hopefully, if anything, they go after one of my destroyers. All right, boys, let's do this. We're just going to have them all turning hard to the left. Come on, at least take somebody out before they drop their bombs. There go the bombs. Alright, they're not going after the destroyer, obviously. Or the uh, battleship. They're going after my cruiser. Oh, we got two hits. I guess it could have been worse. Did we take out? We got one of the planes. Just one of them. Darn it. All right, we got to get those fighters up there. We need to have fighter cover so this doesn't happen anymore. Let's see how Minneapolis is doing. Only minor damage. So we took two hits from bombs, but could have been a lot worse. Well, I'm trying to get them there, but they didn't quite get there. And now we're once again dealing with these guys. So I guess I'm just going to have to pull my Navy out of there until I can get ready for the the landing which is a, a while away yet because uh, this is just going to keep on happening otherwise we're gonna we're gonna give them a course heading to to come out here and meet up with the other fleet but in the meantime we got to fight them ah boy darn it here we go again so same deal we're gonna immediately start turning with everybody Stevens is really close. How, how is that even possible that it would be that close like that? My goodness. All right, so I don't even know if I can really turn them. So all my ships are turning, and they're actually firing on the spotter plane, but hopefully they're going to turn and start firing on these bombers now who appear to be headed right for my battleship. Oh, boy. And it don't turn quite as fast as the others got our radar on for all of our ships. I don't know if that helps. I doubt it helps with an aircraft fire, but it certainly can't hurt. Oh, man. I'm really nervous about them going after this battleship. Come on. At least take out a couple of them before they drop their bombs. They're going to be dropping them in a few seconds. Jeez. 
There go the bombs. They all got them away. Turn, 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 baby. Oh! Four hits? There were only four planes. And two of them hit the water. Oh. Moderate damage. Darn it. All because I can't get my fighters to go up there and stay there. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, then, this is kind of interesting, and I don't know what to think here because we just spotted two destroyers, two heavy cruisers, three oilers, and three merchants, which to me sounds like he's trying to reinforce one of these bases. Now, if it hadn't been for the fact that my battleship just got damaged, I'd feel pretty good about going into this. But I feel like I have to go after them, even though I've just got the five ships. So let's go ahead and do it. We've got our Wildcats there, but we're just going to kind of hang tight with them. I'd like to spot some planes with the Wildcats. Okay, so North Carolina is just showing minor damage at this point, which is good because we are getting into another combat situation now. Uh, and interestingly, the Japanese planes, are these fighters? They are. They're already right over my fleet. So we're going to go ahead and send our Wildcats in. And I think I'm just going to have each one of them target a different, different one of these Japanese fighters. We'll see how that works out. Don't know if that's the best way to do it or not. But in the meantime, they're also going to be dealing with any aircraft fire from my ships. Or at least they should be. Where are my ships? Oh, they're a little further away than I thought. They are getting some anti-aircraft fire on them. Alright, let's follow the Wildcats in. As they go on the hunt. Not exactly sure what his fighters are doing. Oh, they're going to try to strafe the Stevens, I guess. So we're coming in down pretty low level here. Looks like Stevens took one of them down. Or one of the ships did. All the ships are firing now. Are they just, they're just going right down the, the row at all my ships and strafing every one of them. Oh, jeez! Wow. Wasn't expecting that to happen. What kind of damage did they do? Moderate damage on a strafing run of a heavy cruiser? My goodness. Alright, Wildcat, take these guys down. There's only one of them left. He's trying to get away. I think we got him. He's already got some damage. Oh, hello. How about we don't just fly past him and we get behind him and shoot him? Huh? Maybe? I feel like we need to get all of these guys doing this. Maybe that's the problem is that only one of them were targeting that particular fighter. Dang. Oh, he just downed one of my planes. That should not have happened. There we go. Now we got him. Well then. It was not quite as... exciting as I was hoping that would be, the way it went. But at least we, we took them out. I really was hoping to take out the bombers, though. 
but we haven't seen the bombers. But now we've got minor damage to three of our ships, which is not necessarily a good thing when we go in against his fleet. Guadalcanal got their airport up to level three, which means that that fleet did successfully get in there and resupply them. So now we've got another opportunity to take on some planes, and I don't know what we'll be facing this time. But we'll find out soon enough. Let's head over to our ships and get our radar turned on and our sonar just in case, because you never know for sure what else might be out there. Oh my gosh, so they're out here. Is that eight fighters? It is. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. I have three wildcats to take on eight fighters. Don't imagine this will go particularly well for us. And here comes a strafing run, I'm sure. So let's um, form up two column right. At least they can't go right down the line of all of my ships. I'm also going to speed up. Uh, this is going to be ugly. All right, here they come. good news is we're taking down some of these fighters, which means there's going to be fewer of them to deal with my fighters. So the odds get a little more even, especially if he sends all of them at me. We've already taken down three, so now there's just five. Here they come strafing the cruiser again. There we go. We took out two more of them. Problem is, he's just going to be able to send more of them up from the air, airfield the way this whole thing works. It's not like they're going to run out of planes. Alright, Wildcats are coming in. There's only... Is there only two of these fighters left? That would be perfect if that's the case. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We're going to be going head to head right at a Japanese Zero. Wish there was a way to speed up time. Hopefully that's something they'll add in the future. I don't see him yet, but he's got to be straight ahead of me. There he is. Oh boy! Wow! <laughs> I guess we just flew right through him. That was interesting. This guy might have him. Start shooting. I just gave him a manual shoot order. I guess that ain't really helping. Seriously, why is it so hard to navigate to get these guys? And this one here, I told him to go after him. There we go, I think we shot him down. There he is. Shoot him! 
Got him. Beautiful. That was well done. Alright, now we can exit from here. We're still hunting down these, uh... The ships, though. Let's see if we can find them. Man, he must have got those ships out of there already. Now I'm a little worried that they're coming this way, so I'm going to go ahead and send Task Force 3 down to hook up with these guys so we can escort them in the rest of the way. Okay, so we were able to get there and uh, escort them. That bothers me a little bit, this plane, so I'm going to actually scramble some wildcats to go deal with them. We'll ignore them with uh, that task force. And then I'm going to keep these guys around for a little while. Just give them fighter cover. All right, so I'm told there's an encounter, but it didn't tell me what I was encountering, which makes me nervous that it's submarines. Uh, thankfully, we've got our radar going in front and in back, but... Not a whole lot else we can do. I mean, our sonar. So we're going to have to slow this down. Just in case that's what it is, a subs. I'm also going to start turning with the whole force. And typically, if they are subs, new contact. It's a ship. Where? Okay, up here. Oh, hello. It's that fleet I was looking for. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and keep going the direction that I'm going with this fleet. And we're immediately going to start targeting these things. That is most definitely a heavy cruiser. We're going to get everybody targeting that thing. Because that's definitely going to be our biggest threat. Okay, we're getting our guns turned. We're going to open up for action here. We do need to identify this guy. Let's see if we can do that yet. Now, I know he's in North Carolina. I want to identify this one. Those are light cruisers. We need to look at his heavy cruisers. They're going to be this way. So we're looking at one that's got two funnels, but not quite like that. He's also got three guns up front. That could be it. In fact, I'm pretty sure that is. Myoko class cruiser, I think. I think that's what we've got here. Okay. Classify that target. Let's see if that helps with the identification and the uh, the fire. Unless I got that wrong, which is always possible. Why is O'Bannon turning? I want these guys going this way. Oh, we just lost it. Well, we lost contact with them and never regained it. So we're going to go ahead and press on. I'm a little nervous about his fleet hitting my task force here. I should really rename one of these. Um, we'll call this one Task Force Delta. And this one will be Alpha. I know, I know, I skipped B and C, but that's okay. We'll get to it. Um, so Task Force Alpha, we're going to just kind of keep patrolling around here while we wait for these guys to arrive. Oh, I guess we've got another encounter. All right, let's dive in.
So this is literally an hour and a half after our last, actually probably even less than that since the last contact. Uh, so we really have no idea where he is. So same deal. I'm just going to turn on radar on all of our ships. We're going to start preparing and then he's going to turn up somewhere. This rain is, the rain and the dark are making it very difficult as far as getting a sense of where he is. So let's, uh, I guess we'll start navigating this way for now. And we'll start and we'll see what happens. Oh, he's right there. Dang, okay. In super close. What's the distance here? Let's see what North Carolina's distance is to target. 8,000 yards. So we are, what, six, seven miles off of this guy? All right, so let's get this identification correct this time. We're going through the heavy cruisers. It is not a Mayoki or Mayoko. You can see the difference in where the tower is. The, the tower on the Mayoko is right behind that second funnel, and that's not where it is here. This is a Takao. You can see there, that's where the tower is. Everything else looks to be identical. So we're gonna identify that as a Takao heavy cruiser, and that is who we're gonna target with everything we've got. So we're going to start targeting him right off the bat. And I have the Minneapolis and the Stevens. They're going to target this rear ship here, which is a looks like a light cruiser. And I'm going to see if I can go ahead and identify that light cruiser. And I'm a little worried about torpedoes at this distance. Uh, the last fight we had, we were much further out. A lot of different destroyer classes. All right, so here's Tenru. Um, no, I don't think so. Kuma, yeah, it could be a Kuma. Let me double check everything. Tower's the same. Gun emplacements appear to be the same. Yeah, I'm liking this to be a Kuma class. And it does have torpedoes. All right, let's identify them. Okay, let's do this. I'm definitely worried about torpedoes. Let's just go back to O'Bannon. I think we're going to we're going to change our navigation here. We're going to go straight ahead, I think. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on these guys, though, because if they get torpedoes in the water, I want to see it. So I know right away. I'm surprised he doesn't have his guns turning. Let's see how we're doing. Seems like we've already landed a hit. 14% so far. Not great. We have our radar on. It's probably the visibility, it's the rain, it's the dark. I could probably fire some star shells. Let's get some star sh shells in the air. Maybe we'll be able to um, see what's happening. Although we're landing hits. It's our distance, 9,000 yards. Doesn't look like we're firing star shells to me. Alright, I guess we're going to stay on AP. Let's see if we got any kind of reports so far on the damage. Minor damage to Takao, minor damage to Kuma, the two that we're firing on. Let's maybe get some torpedoes going from O'Bannon. What's the range on these things? That solution's only 2%. Maybe that's not the best idea. I can't get any good accuracy right now on anything. Notice the torpedoes are aiming that way, even though the guns are aiming this way. Q 
can't get better than 14%. I'm going to go to a loose firing order, and we're going to go to spot. So it'll slow down our rate of fire, but it should improve our accuracy of fire. Still 12%. Oh, just in time to see the shots. Let's see how we do here. Nothing. Overshot him. I don't want to get in closer, though, for fear of his torpedoes. I think we'll just take our chances from this distance and see how it goes. I really want to take out that heavy cruiser. I can't believe he's not even firing. Does he not have the range to fire at this distance? Our secondaries are firing as well. Oh, we just landed a nice hit on the lead ship. We saw a pretty nice explosion there. Let's take a look at the latest reports. We're up to moderate damage and minor flooding now, as well as minor damage on two other ships. If we can take down the heavy cruiser, then we'll go after the light cruiser and we've got a destroyer here. In fact, I may go ahead and tell Minneapolis to switch up and go after that destroyer as soon as we take out the lead ship. We're now up to a 36% solution, so it seems like doing the spot uh, and loose orders on firing seem to be having an impact. Let's just keep watching. We're at 10,000 yards. Plenty of shells left. 300 shells left, so we want to make sure we still have enough to, uh, I was going to say bombard Guadalcanal, but maybe I don't want to do that because he doesn't have any men there. Heavy damage now on the Takao. And really not taking anything on my ships. Of course, his big guns aren't even firing. So the distance seems to be working for us. Bannon's still our lead ship. Torpedoes still are not in position to fire. That's alright. Not going to worry about it. Interesting that on the O'Bannon, my forward guns are completely out of ammunition except for star shells. Checking on the North Carolina, we're down to 270 on the forward guns. Just 165 APs on the rear gun. We need to start landing these hits a little faster and get this guy sunk. Let me switch over to our a uh, HE shells. I told O'Bannon to speed up. We need to try and catch up to these guys a little quicker. Really haven't landed any new hits lately. Still heavy damage, minor flooding. Oh, we've got, um, actually, there's a difference on Kuma, which is up to moderate damage now. Might end up sinking them first. I want to get a view here for a second, just watching my entire fleet firing. It's really cool since we're at night. They just hit the waypoint, so we're starting our turn now. But it's cool to watch the firing happen, happen in the night in the rain. I've got all of my ships except the battleship now firing on Kuma so we can try and finish her off. The battleship's going to continue firing on Takao until it's done. We want to finish off that heavy cruiser. We're turning now so we're going to try to narrow the distance. Hopefully though we don't get close enough for him to fire torpedoes but it looks like a lot of my ships may not be in range because I just keep seeing splashes that are way short. 
So hopefully that'll change when we get in closer. And now we've lost contact with the heavy cruiser, which, oh, of course, we just reestablished contact with, but I've switched fire from my battleship to HE shells to fire on this light cruiser. So we'll see if we can maybe finish them off real quick, and then we'll worry about the heavy cruiser again. I'm trying to close the distance best I can. Now they're only just showing minor damage. They must have repaired some of it. Let's see if we can change that. Well, now it looks like they've come and turned around the other way. So that's what we're facing at this point. I don't know if he's getting ready for a torpedo run or what, but we're gonna we're gonna target this ship here, which we will soon after identify. Let's target him with everything. And then let's figure out what he is. Let's see. I think we gotta go this way. No, I can't remember. Let's see here. F6. It's a light cruiser. Let's get past all these destroyers first. Um, yeah, I think we decided it wasn't that. I think we decided it was a Kuma. It definitely appears to be. All right. And then we re regain contact with Takao right after that. Zero percent on Kuma so far. Well, maybe we'll miss so badly that we hit the destroyer. He's coming straight at me. He's going to make a torpedo run. we got to watch his torpedoes. Six thousand yards out. I'm going to switch a couple of them over to firing on this destroyer. Man, this visibility makes it really rough to try and hit anything. we got moderate damage on Takao and Kuma. One of the Kumas. This is rough. How are we doing here in North Carolina? 0% still. Jeez. And they're in close, too. They're not that far out at all. 6,000 yards and we can't get... Now we're at 10%. I wonder if it's because we sped up. We could probably... Oh, O'Bannon just took a hit. He's finally in range on me now. Let's turn this way. I want to look at my report overall. O'Bannon's got moderate damage. North Carolina's minor damage, I think, came from the planes earlier. Let's try to identify this destroyer next. I think this might be a kamikaze class destroyer. There was another one that was real similar, but it didn't have two sets of torpedo tubes there, so I think that's what we're going to go with on this one. There's a hit. How are we doing, North Carolina? Let's 
So we've identified four out of the five now. How's O'Bannon doing? Not so great. Let's try again to get some torpedoes going. I definitely don't think that's the direction we want to go with the torpedoes. Oh, now we're going to hit fire and they're going to turn. Okay. Let's trust they went in the right direction. I really have no idea because I don't see any torpedoes in the water. I think we're going to lose O'Bannon. She's on fire and it doesn't appear like it's going to stop anytime soon. That is pretty bad. It's showing moderate damage, minor flooding. Hopefully we can get on top of the fires. He's starting to get away. Takao's coming at us, so we've switched once again. The North Carolina to firing on them. Only 6% though. I don't know what the deal is. That we just can't get a decent solution. And I can't seem to fire star shells like he's been able to do. I just need the weather to get better. There's a hit. Alright, just landed another big hit on Takao. I've got everybody firing on them now. I want to sink this guy, and then if that's all we get out of this, then I guess that'll just have to be the case. And the distance that we're at, I cannot believe we won't be successful now. We're less than two miles away. There's another hit. We're just going to pummel this guy into oblivion. What about Vincennes? Any chance? That's a heavy cruiser. I don't know that they have torpedoes. They don't. Man, I can't believe he's coming up that close on me. Ah, there. Oh, come on. That's him. Oh, there's a big hit. I think we got him. Yeah, he's pretty much dead in the water now. He's barely moving. Make sure everybody's firing. Okay, they're firing. They're firing. I don't see Vincennes firing. There they go. Yeah. Takao's pretty much stopped now. Critical damage. We've got him. Fires are spreading. It's really just a matter of time at this point. Beautiful. Everybody else is getting away. Takao is taking one for the team. Looking at the, the view from this side. We're not firing with our main guns. Alright, Stevens is able to get some torpedoes in the water. And I'm getting a little impatient with Takao's unwillingness to sink. So a couple of point-blank torpedoes ought to do the trick. 
Now Stevens is on fire. So is Vincennes. This guy is just lighting me up as he goes down. I'm just going to take a while for these torpedoes because they're notoriously slow on this game. So let's look at our report as far as our ships go now. We've got minor damage on 3 and heavy on O'Bannon. This heavy cruiser is just taking a beating. Wish I could, like, get a free camera view so I could follow the torpedoes. Don't think that's something the game offers, though. There they are. If I zoom out far enough, I can see them. So there they are right there. They're almost halfway there. They really do take forever. All right, well, here we go. We're going to see if we take them down with gunfire. Or if this torpedo does it, I have a feeling we're only going to hit him with one. This this one here might hit, but it just might have done the spread a little too much. We're definitely going to get a hit right here, though. This other one's going to be super close. There's a hit. I'm not sure if this one will. Oh, doesn't matter. They're sinking, but we did get a second hit. I think that's all we're going to get, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and cease our attack. We'll take it. 13,000 tons sunk. We do have heavy damage on the O'Bannon. But that gains us another 14 command points. That gets us to 89, which we're going to spend pretty soon. But right now, I really would like to end this episode by getting Task Force Delta to complete the landing at Guadalcanal. Well, we've run into that fleet one more time, that task force. So we're going to stop right here. I really wanted to get Guadalcanal taken in this episode, but it's going to have to wait. Let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below. Drop a like if you would, and we will see you again in a couple days with another episode. Thanks for watching.